Hi, geometry students. I want to give you some background on your course selection. So if you are in geometry, next year you're probably going to be taking Algebra 2. But when you're making your course selections, I need to know if you would like to stay in academic level or if you would like to bump up to honors. And I want to talk to you a little bit about the courses that you're going to take and also um, what your course selections mean. So it's your course selection should be part of a four-year plan. And your graduation requirement is three credits in math. So for the students graduating this year in math, it's going to be three credits. And then also um, next year, the graduating class and the following graduating class is still going to be three credits in math. So if you are a sophomore or a junior and you're taking uh, geometry right now, then you probably have a credit in Algebra 1 that was taken um, either your freshman year or in 8th grade. And so now you're in geometry. So you're if you're a sophomore or a junior, you probably have Algebra 1 credit and now you're earning your geometry credit. So after geometry, you're going to take Algebra 2. So Algebra 2 right here, you could take academic or you could take honors. And so you'll either be a junior taking Algebra 2 or you might be a senior taking Algebra 2 to get your third credit of math. So you have to decide which one do I want to take. If you're a freshman in geometry, then you ha have to get a couple more credits. So you're going to be getting your first high school math credit from geometry. You're going to get your second uh, math credit from Algebra 2. Again, you're going to have to choose if you want to stay in the academic track or if you want to go to honors. And then you're going to get your third credit probably from pre-calculus or statistics. And I'll talk a little bit about that because everyone after Algebra 2 is going to have to decide what they're going to take. So after Algebra 2, students can take pre-calculus or statistics. Those of you that want to take calculus, so you need to at least have two more years of math left, those wanting to take calculus must take pre-calculus first. So if you want to um, take statistics and you want to take calculus, you're going to have to plan out your choices carefully. At one point, you're going to have to double up if you would like to take statistics and calculus. So in order to take calculus, you have to first take pre-calculus. That means if you want to take stats and calc, you're going to either have to double up with pre-calculus and with statistics, or you can wait until your senior year and double up and take calculus and statistics. And there are two levels of statistics, both AP and academic. Um, most researchers, so to tell you a little bit of difference between the statistics and the calculus, most research careers will benefit from having statistics because um, you're really analyzing data. So like your social sciences, your researchers, your some medical fields, um, statistics is going to talk, you're going to need the data analysis piece. In statistics, there's a lot more writing than your typical math courses. So not so much solving equations, but a lot of explaining why the data makes sense or what you can pull from the data. Calculus is often required for math, science, technology, and some medical fields as a course if you're going to um, continue to college. So some majors require you to take calculus and some career fields like you to have calculus. So you're going to have to decide what you want to do or what courses you want to take at some point. After geometry though, you're going to be taking algebra too, but I just wanted to give you some insight of where you're going. Um, all of our math courses will give you the opportunity to demonstrate proficiency in one of our school-wide rubrics or your academic expectation of reason effectively, think critically, and solve problems. Okay, so let me just go down and show you the difference between Algebra 2 Academic and Algebra 2 Honors. Both courses cover pretty much the same material, except in Algebra 2, they might not, academic level, they might not get to matrices, and in Algebra 2 Honors, they might. Algebra 2 Honors has a bit more um, application problems. They do move at a faster pace, and in general, Honors courses do that. So I am right now on page, oops, I didn't mean to do that on the screen, sorry about that. Okay, so I am on page 47 or 48, depending on uh, which kind of browser you have, to show you where Algebra 2 and Honors Algebra 2 show up in our program of studies. If you go up earlier in it, 
on page 22, it talks about the difference between honors courses and academic courses. So you can um, read either of those on the screen if you want to pause it, or you can go to the program of studies yourself. One thing to note is if you take an honors course versus an academic course, your grade is going to be weighted. So whatever grade you get in an honors course, they multiply that by 1.1 for your transcript to, to find out your GPA. Um, an academic, whatever your grade is, that's what gets calculated on your transcript. Another thing to note is no matter which course that you take, the math courses are all going to require a TI-83 or 84. So if you don't have a graphing calculator, then you're going to probably want to get one for next year. Um, at this point, I just want you to take um, the survey to let me know which course you think you're going to be taking or what you would like to take before I submit my teacher recommendations. If you have any individual questions, please come see me. Uh, one other thing that you might want to consider is if you did take the PSATs, they kind of give you an idea of what subjects you're good at. And so you could take a look to see if that kind of steers you in the direction of wanting to take calculus or not wanting to take calculus or taking statistics or not taking statistics. So it kind of gives you an idea of your potential. Um, anyone is able to take honors. If you'd like to bump up, you can always try it and then bump back down. If you're thinking about it and you're not really sure, probably a good idea is if you have a solid B, then you'll know that you, you'll probably feel comfortable in the honors course, but you will have to work harder than you have been working. Um, other than that, again, let me know if you have any questions, and um, I will see you in class.